Testing, testing. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Josh here with Buckeye Bowhunter, and today uh, I'm going to do a little different video. I know it's dead in the middle of hunting season. Today's October 19th, but uh, you're going to have to excuse the lighting. My electricity is out for some weird reason, uh, so I have no electricity. So I can't work, and I got off work a little late today, so I couldn't go hunting. So I figure, why not use this time to uh, make a video? And this is a video I've kind of been wanting to make for a little bit. For you guys who are maybe looking to buy a mobile setup or looking at buying some new stand and sticks, maybe before your rotation here coming up, I kind of want to go over uh, the two sets of sticks that Lone Wolf Custom Gear has to offer because I own both and I've used both. And uh, I haven't really seen any videos out kind of comparing the double steps to the regular sticks. So yeah, let's get right into it, I guess. So here's the set of the double sticks that I own. Um, I usually use four of these and I used these for an entire season last year. Great sticks, literally bulletproof. The other ones are the minis, the regular minis. I got four of these as well. And I've used these maybe five or six times so far this year, so I feel like I can kind of judge both of them. I just want to kind of let you guys know what I think of them, pros and cons maybe, and tell you which one I'm going to be using this year. All right, so first thing I want to talk about is the double steps. And uh, I have had these for since last year, and I hunted the entire season with these things. Um, pretty much a bulletproof step super sweet deal if I do say so myself uh, nothing wrong with these there's a couple things I will get into that little pet peeves and why I ended up buying another set of sticks but uh, I'll talk about those last first things first uh, these are 17 inches from step to step for me that's a pretty comfortable um, distance from step to step I'm like 5'11 so I'm not like a super tall guy I will say it comes with a Versa button. I removed them just because I've been using Amsteel rope uh, for my connection. The one cool thing about these steps is they are super versatile. You can use pretty much any rope or strap mod that you want to use, uh, buckleless, uh, rope, Amsteel, daisy chain, anything you want. These little dog ears are very helpful with that. Uh, I got a bunch of videos on how I use the buckleless method on my channel so check those out if you're interested they also have two steps really helpful when you're hanging a tree stand so you don't have to you know you can really make sure you keep three points of contact it seems a little safer to me uh, than the one step type of sticks pretty helpful pretty comfortable especially you know in the dark when you're trying to hang this and uh, you know you're you have unsure footing sometimes it's just pretty helpful so really good grip up top Pretty much the same as all the Lone Wolf products. There's also no moving parts with this, uh, which is kind of a big deal. So you're not going to have anything loosen on you. Nothing's going to break. Nothing's going to, um, you know, come loose over time and fall apart while you're in the middle of climbing a tree. A lot of times with the old Lone Wolf sticks, uh, the pivoting V bracket would come really loose and you'd have to make sure you tightened it up, uh, you know, every once in a while as they got older or replaced those parts. But, um, so that is a positive with the double steps. Couple negatives, super loud stick. Uh, unless you cover it head to toe in some kind of silencing strip, which I did, stealth strips, it is literally like a tuning fork. It's like the loudest thing you'll ever listen to, uh, but that's what makes it so light and so strong. In my opinion, they could have covered it in some kind of rubberized coating or something. I know they say they cover their stands and the minis in some rubberized coating. Doesn't seem to make much of a difference to me. You're still gonna wanna wrap them up. The one thing that I will say about their performance is how they connect to the tree. It's obviously different than the minis. It, they, it uses these four bolts and most, I'd say probably 99% of the time, this was rock solid on any tree I picked. But every once in a while you get that goofy tree where this wouldn't want to grip in the tree very well and you would just get like three contact points and one of these would be like sticking way off the tree and when you'd step on it, it'd have to bend in and it just wasn't the most secure connection. But like I said, that was very rare uh, and I hunt a lot of goofy trees too. So this did its job most of the time, but like I said, Every once in a while, it would be a little sketchy, and that's where I think the V brackets kind of do outperform 
these bolts. But the main reason I ended up buying another set of sticks is because of the packability. These do not pack very well with the 0.5 stand in my opinion. The shelf for the seat that is supposed to hold your backpack or whatever when you're packing in, if you stack four of these on top of each other and put it on the I-beam of the stand, these take up pretty much 75% of your shelf or your seat where your backpack's supposed to go. So it makes it really awkward and goofy when you're trying to strap a backpack. And the only support or base to lean that backpack against is the face of this uh, stick, which is not very wide. So it's, it's just something, you know, it's a minor inconvenience and it's something goofy that for some reason bothers me. But if I spend, you know, $700 on a tree stand setup, that's supposed to be the most packable thing, you know, since sliced bread or whatever, uh, that really bothered me. So I understand there's a place for the double steps. I just could not figure out a good way for me to pack these in with my 0.5 and be happy with it. So I ended up buying another set of sticks and let's talk about that. So this is one of the Lone Wolf Mini, Lone Wolf Custom Gear Mini sticks, just a short version of the regular. Um, and these are the 17 inch versions as well. These do come in three different lengths, I believe like 15, 17, and 20. So for you taller guys and you shorter guys, there's different options. Uh, 17, like I said, works out for me. So I figured I'd just stick with the same length. Uh, let's double check that it is 17 here. 17 inches on the dot. So with that said, let's talk a couple pros. Uh, I bought these right before the season started, so I've had them for, uh, you know, maybe five or six hunts. Uh, so not a ton of experience with them, but enough where I feel like I can kind of judge their performance and tell you what I feel about them. First things first, we will, we'll, let's talk about the packability. They pack phenomenal with the stand. They were absolutely 100% meant to uh, work with the 0.5 and the 1.0 stand. They fit in there amazingly, leaves all kinds of room for anything you want to strap to the, the seat or the shelf. Pretty cool setup, and that made me super happy. One little tip I want to share with you guys. I got two of these here. They got these little rubber nipples that kind of help them fit together and they're not meant to like hold them together it's just meant to like keep them quiet when you're walking through the woods or when you're putting them together and strapping them to the stand i ended up putting some hockey tape on a couple of the contact points just to quiet it down it seemed like it helped a lot uh, if you guys are interested in where i put those let me know and i'll make a video about that the one thing if you've seen any of my videos a big pet peeve of mine is i i really like to keep the straps connected to the sticks just for easy use and uh, consistency, you know, like when I get to the stand, they're there. I don't got to dig them out of a pack. I just pull my stick out. It's ready to go. The one thing that I learned is you can't really wrap these up individually like uh, the old Lone Wolf sticks. But if you see the nipple right here, take the other side. And this works with, uh, you know, the buckleless straps as well. Um, all I do is come up the other side away from the, uh, the male end. And I just start wrapping it up and when I get to a point I'll just kind of put my elastic bands over the end there and boom it leaves this rubber nipple wide open to set it into the stand just a nice clean little look there when you get to your setup or you get to your tree you just pop these off and boom you're ready to go you know what I mean I made these am steel ropes myself I do have a video for that if you guys are interested in how I did that uh, you can check that out as well. I'll have the description below. Definitely awesome when it comes to the packability with these minis. I will say that. Now, I got four of these minis as well. Uh, so I'm getting the same height, obviously. They're both 17-inch step-to-step. The one thing is there is moving parts. Um, and when you have moving parts, you have, you know, opportunity for things to loosen, break, noise. And I will say there is some noise with some of these. Not all of these steps yeah there you go not all these steps make noise but some of them do and uh there's just a little metal to metal contact when you open when you drop the step down here i think that will go away with time i think they're just new so i'm still kind of breaking them in i will say though i do prefer the v bracket connection over the bolts 
just because these V-brackets have the ability to kind of rotate and conform to the tree when you're climbing, and I think you just get that much more of a secure connection. I've never had the issue of, you know, unless the tree is like ridiculously slanted or crooked, um, I've never had an issue where I felt like these steps were going to pop off the tree or kick out or something like that. So I do like that. It was a pretty easy transition to go from the double steps to the single step on each side just because I use the original lone wolf sticks for probably 15 years so um, it's nothing new to me. With that said, um, I am probably going to be using these sticks for the rest of the year uh, just to kind of put them through their paces and uh, you know, at the end of the year, whichever one I like the most, I'll probably get rid of the other one uh, just because they are like 400 bucks for four of these. And, you know, I don't need $400 sticks just sitting in my room doing nothing. But I will say one more negative is it does add a couple steps, you know, setting these sticks up before you start climbing and then, you know, folding them back together when you get done climbing uh, and, you, and you're leaving for the night. It probably does add about two minutes to your mob and demob, just because it's a little more complicated, I guess, fitting these uh, rubber nipples into the stand quietly and getting it all situated and locking them down. Um, I do not have the J hooks. I've just been using like rubber gear ties, uh, but that whole process does take a little longer, I think, than uh, strapping the double steps to the stand, if that makes anybody. Um, change their mind, but it, it, it's not enough to make any difference in my opinion. I'd rather have the nice compact packable setup than save a minute or two. Just leave a minute or two early, I guess. <laughs> With that said though, I really thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope I helped you guys make a decision if you're in the market for a set of Lone Wolf Custom Gear steps. I've been getting a bunch more subscribers recently and it's really kind of been taken off a little bit, I guess, uh, which is kind of exciting. So I thank you guys a lot for that. If you have time and you like this content at all, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because I got a bunch more of this content coming. At the end of October, I have my ruckation. So I'm gonna be putting out as much videos and much hunting content as I can. So you're gonna definitely wanna stay tuned for that. Again, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next one.